Hi guys, my name is Tristan Prospero and today I'm going to be demonstrating my 3D laryngeal model. Um, we're going to start off right here with the trachea, which is made up of air dry clay. And it is modeled around a paper towel holder as the base. These green pieces represent the tracheal cartilage and the white pieces represent the tracheal membrane. The yellow piece right here is made up of modeled magic and this represents the cricoid cartilage. Um, this is the only cartilage that forms a complete circle around the trachea in the model, as you can see here. And this provides attachments for the cricothyroid muscle and the lateral and posterior cricoarytenoid muscles. As we move up to this red piece right here, which is also made up of modeled magic, this represents the thyroid cartilage, I'm sorry. And this serves to protect the thyroid. It is the largest cartilage um, of them all in the model. And this is what we all know as the Adam's apple. As we move up to these pieces right here, which is made up of toothpicks, this represents the thyrohyoid membrane. As we move up to this blue piece right here, this represents the hyoid bone, um, which is the only bone in the entire body that does not attach to another bone which makes it very unique. And this um, serves as an anchor structure for the tongue. As we flip it around, this black piece right here is a plastic spoon that is wrapped with modeled magic and this represents the epiglottis. So the epiglottis um, functions to prevent anything from falling into the larynx when we are eating. Um, and it maneuvers like this, so when we swallow, this thing comes down to protect anything from falling in. Um, these two pieces right here, these represent the arytenoid cartilages, and these purple pieces up top are um, the corniculate cartilages. Um, these pieces connect to the vocal cords or the vocal folds and these are what help in phonation. These help maneuver the vocal cords. So the vocal cords right here um, is made up of a sponge and I have attached um, a fishing line to both sides of the vocal cord or the sponge and to open it you simply if I could just get it without dropping anything. You just pull on it and it opens and it closes. So again, open, you pull. And when the vocal cord is open like this, air comes in and it vibrates the vocal cords and that is what produces the sound. Um. And I think I covered everything. So that is my laryngeal model. Thank you guys so much for watching.